You can make your workspaces more accessible for your students by creating differentiated learning activities for your students. One way to do this is to create different groups in workspace. As you can see here, I've created three different groupings. The first grouping is my entire class. The second grouping are a group of three students who potentially could be following a modified plan. This could um, also be a group of students who are English language learners or maybe a preferred uh, format preference. For example, uh, they need to give audio recordings or video recordings. And then this next group, which I've included group two, are for the remainder of the class, not including these three students. So if I go back into the workspace, you can see here that I've created a lesson for the entire class to watch. So when I shared this, I shared it with all groups because I'd like all my students to watch the video. Next in the evidence card, when I'm sharing my learning activities, I've created two different lessons with a similar activity. However, this lesson is going to be learning activity is just for my students with who are following a modified learning plan. So if I click on the three dots and then edit, you can see that down here, I've selected only group one The other lesson would be for the remainder of the class. And you can see that they, I've only selected group two for this lesson. I decided to call both lessons the same name and also label them the same color. They're both blue. As a teacher, then I can refer to the lesson as news article and the blue evidence card. So now I can tell my entire class, including my students who are following the modified plan to click on the news article blue evidence card. This is a great way to pre preserve the privacy of your students working on the modified plan. This is just one way you can make your workspace a little more accessible for your students. One other way to make your workspace more accessible, particularly if you teach younger students, is to have as few places to potentially click as possible. One way to do this is to put a singular learning activity in the third column. Make sure to write as little as possible in the description. For example, my title is simply number one, and my description is simply click start. I have specifically chosen to use a Google document for my learning activity. Because my learning activity is a Google document, I can ask, access the full toolbar from the read and write menu. Here, my students can gain access to video directions or use screen readers like the play button to read out text, as well as all the other tools available to them on the read and write toolbar. Google Documents should be chosen as much as possible over less accessible documents, for example, like a PDF whenever possible for younger students or for students with special needs. If you would like to pre-plan your workspace with multiple activities, what you can do is set up two different groups. The first group would be all of your students from your classroom. And then a second group card that I've labeled blank. As 
you can see now in my workspace, I have three learning activities all in the third column. However, I have only shared the blue evidence card with my class so far. And the other two activities I have only shared with that blank group. You can double check this by clicking on the student view. Over here on the left hand side, we can click on the small area arrow and then on the little eyeball right beside one of your students. This will give a student view of what they will see. Now you can see that your students only have one place to click. Once your students are done with the first evidence card, what you can do is click on the three dots, click edit, and then change the group to the blank group. Now you're ready for the green evidence card. So click on the three dots, click edit, and then share this card with your grade two group. Double check by clicking on the small arrow and then on the little eyeball beside one of your students. Now you can see they only have the greed evidence card to look at. Be sure to add color to your workspace to add visual interest. You can change the color of the card by clicking on the card on the three dots and then changing the card color. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about this video or how to make your workspace more accessible for your students, reach out to the learning technology consultant assigned to your school.